Good morning and welcome to the latest in our In Conversation series. I'm Sarah Austin and for everyone tuning in um, and has been following this series of, of conversation and, and interviews that we've done, um, this is all about shining the spotlight on different entrepreneurs, business owners, leading experts and finding out who they are, what they are behind their business, some of the things they've learned along the way, some of their insights and learnings. And these have been fascinating journeys, just sort of getting under the bonnet, as it were, of um, AHA. Um, Jenny, good morning. Hadn't even had a chance to even say who I was introducing today. So for everyone watching, um, this is Jenny Eastwood, co-founder of, of The Parent Team. Jenny, do you want to just sort of say hello? Um, good morning. Welcome to everyone who's joining us for this morning's live to hear about what the parent team's up to and some tips on some parenting skills to make life a little bit easier. Brilliant. And so I can see we've got a lot of people joining. So thank you very much to everyone. I mean, anyone that is a parent, has brought up children, bringing up children as we speak, we all know that it's a journey. You know, lo love, love that word journey. And, um, and I think we're all open to advice, help along the way. And those journeys are, are never straight lines. So, so thank you for joining us, Jenny. But also thank you to our audience as well, because this is your chance to put the spotlight literally on Jenny and to ask her any question um, that you may have. Uh, and I bet you she, she can answer it. Cumulatively with her team, I think they've got something like 40 years of experience of, of doing this stuff. So I, I think you're fairly safe to know that we are in the hands of experts. And uh, so you can go ahead and, and ask your questions. But let's just begin um, by shining the spotlight on, on you, Jenny. And you tell us a bit about you, your, your background, and the inspiration behind the parent team. Um, okay. Well, I have a psychology background and with a specialization in child development. <clears throat> Although I have to admit, I then went off and had a different career in finance. Um, but then, a little bit later in life, I ended up with four children. And because I started a little bit late, they're very close in age. So um, now they're aged 11 to 16, and I've got three girls and a boy. And when they were all born in very close proximity, I was actually living abroad. So I found the parenting situation mm. really challenging. Um, they, they, they were born, my first two were born in Japan, and there was no... English manual provided when they were born, and I didn't have my family around me. So um, I quickly realized I, I really needed support. And at that time that came from my friends, but they had young children and they didn't really know anything more than I did. So um, what I did is when I came back and lived in the UK, I signed up for parenting classes. And that really gave me some brilliant tips that revolutionized our family life and kind of gave me a toolkit as a parent. So I, I was so inspired that I went back to my psychology roots and I retrained. And for the last 10 years, I worked for, for another positive parenting company. And then when COVID happened, myself and three of my colleagues from this company decided that we, we wanted to, to do things our own way and build our own business. So we took the leap to start the parent team. And you know we are just absolutely passionate at helping as many parents as possible to bring out the best in their children and, and enjoy being a parent, enjoy family life, not have it something that's a total struggle that they can't wait to be finished with. So, so that's our mission, helping families and children thrive. Um, well, thank you very much for sharing that. What's so interesting, just, just listening to you talk, is um, just the, the journeys that, that we've heard. I mean, we, we've, we, I think you are my 35th interviewee and, um, and I'm loving this series because this is all about understanding people's journeys. And often the journey can be every bit as interesting as, as the destination, as it were. And, and I think, you know, the, that story there you, you shared about reinvention, retraining, will really resonate with other people out there where, you know, you'd been a psychologist, you had, you know, had this um, career in finance, and then actually something awakened in you that means that now you are absolutely in your, in your sweet spot, as it were. You are, you're in the place that you want to be. And, um, but that sense of sort of reinvention, I, I think, is, is really important. And how particularly, I think, as women, we go through these different chapters in our lives. And so I feel there will be a, a lot of resonance with our, with our listeners here who may be thinking, 
well, actually, that's resonating with me. That's what I'd like to follow that route. Or, or actually, I've got some burning passion inside me. I'd, I'd like to follow that. So, so you know, so, so thank you for thank you for sharing that. And um, so tell us, you know, let's sort of go under the bonnet a bit more of, of the parent team about, you know, the services you provide, you know, what, what, what is it, um, who's it aimed at, and, um, and what makes it different? Okay, so I think maybe what makes us, the parent team, different, slightly different, is that um, when you look at the market for uh, the services we provide, they're often done by sole operators. So, you know, one person, and that one person is often very good, but there's four of us. So... Mm -hmm. There's, as you mentioned earlier, we've got 40 years experience to, between us and we've worked together for 10 years and there's a lot of expertise. So uh, because I've got three girls, I've, uh, I've got a real passion for girls. Don't tell my son that, by the way. <laughs> and um, and they're, because they're all teenagers, uh, you know, I love the teenage years. Uh, as, uh, I love all the years, actually. Um, my co-founder and colleague, Julia, has boys. So she's really focused, she has a lot of focus on boys. Um, uh, Julia is Senko, so new, looks at a lot of neurodiversity. And mm -hmm. Anne is based in New York, so that gives us a bit more global presence. And actually, Hannah has a single child, and that's quite interesting because it's a very different mm -hmm. dynamic with a single child versus multiple children. So we, we feel that, that, you know, people come to us and say, I've got this issue. And, and I'm, we might say, well, Juliet fits that best. Or actually, I think Jenny would be the person to talk to. I actually really need to talk to, to Victoria, our Senko expert. Um, so I think that's unusual. I think, um, you know, we're talking live, which is wonderful. But I think a lot of people now, they, they pre-record <coughs> material and you pay for it, you download it. And, and, and that absolutely has a place. But we think that, um, you know, live teaching, whether it's via Zoom or we're, we're restarting some in-person teaching, there's a, there's a real place for that because I think parents often feel a bit confused, a bit lonely. They're the only ones struggling with these issues. So getting together as a group where you can ask questions in real time when other parents can step in and say, oh, we had that issue this is what we did that worked, is very powerful and it enables us to stay very up date. So for instance, yesterday, the um, UK's Child Commissioner issued a very big report and they asked, they talked to uh, over half a million children in the UK, that's 6% of the entire UK child population and they've come out with some very interesting <laughs> results. And that will be, I will be bringing that uh, up into my teen workshop, which is next week, because in particular, it's our 16, 17 year old girls who are really struggling at the moment. Two in five are very unhappy. Um, and the other thing that's quite interesting about that report is that actually most six to eight year olds, they are pretty happy. They're pretty happy with home life. They're pretty happy with school. So the change is happening, you know, kind of nine onwards. Um, and, and unhappiness at home increases quite a bit and unhappiness at school increases quite a bit. So, you know, I'll be bringing this information into next week's workshop and you can't do that if you record and, and, and it's just something that, you know, is downloadable. And I don't know about you, but I have a really busy life with a business and four children. And so sometimes I do download things with best intentions and then... I never quite watch them. So whereas sometimes if I've got, you know, a date and a time in a diary where I have to turn up live, I, you know, I kind of feel beholden to do so, even, even when I'm busy. And then it's always really enjoyable. I really enjoy the interaction. And again, there's some great research that shows that when you do things live, it, it um, fires different bits of your brain. So human <laughs> beings learn socially. So... Um, I think that that research coupled with enjoyment, coupled with stickability, um, makes the live work, even if it's via Zoom, really powerful. That is really interesting. So a combination, I think, which was, was is incredibly powerful. So, um, so thank you for that. And, and actually, a lot of what you were saying there was resonating with so much, so many of the values behind really help the club. You know, we are we're all about shared experiences and what you were talking about you know is that that shared experience of your team what you know what they bring 
as experts, but also what other people bring in, in attending one of your workshops too. Whereas that's you know, almost like a problem shared is, is sometimes a, a problem halved or at least, you know, or could be solved. And so um, I, I think that that sort of synergy with shared experiences is incredibly important. And what we get with you is that, you know, that sort of hotline, but straight into, you know, that expert resource, which is so important and the valuable connection you know, that, that, that comes around from it, you know, as you rightly point out. So, um, so obviously, I mean, you've launched this year. Um, so congratulations for launching your business during COVID, you know, in a, in a uh, you know, pretty tough environment to, to, um, to put it mildly. It, this is, um, you talk about how it's evolved already in the course of a, you know, the few months that, uh, that you've, been, you've been active. Well, probably, I think we'd probably use the word emerged rather than evolved. I mean, COVID was kind of, <laughs> you know, actually with COVID was actually a fantastic time to start a business on, on the basis that we couldn't go anywhere, we couldn't do anything. So we could really <laughs> throw ourselves into it. Um, I have to say, uh, so our, our business model is uh, we do six-week parenting classes um, at all their Zoom at the moment, and you learn a different skill every week for six weeks, and that provides you your toolkit. Um, and then we also do workshops, and some people have done the six weeks course and say, now I want to dig a bit deeper. I want to know a bit more about girls, or a bit more about anxiety, or a bit more about keeping calm. And for some people, they they start with workshops. So, um, and in those workshops, you you get some bite-sized skills. And uh, we've, we've been into a few schools, we've done some corporates, we've done some nurseries, and we, we do quite a lot of private sessions uh, for people who, you know, have a, what they're really struggling with and they need some quite specific help straight away. Um, we've had some really loyal clients because we've been working for a long time already. A lot of people know us and they have used a lot of uh, word of mouth to, to yeah. tell their friends about us. So... Um, yeah, so so we kind of we're, we're you know we feel that we've quite quickly put together a good product offering. We've got a you know I hope people will like our website. We spent a lot of time thinking about our branding and our colours and our logo to make it cheerful and warm and inviting. And um, you know now we're our product range is is well established. So really our job now is to go out and. Uh, go and talk to more schools and nurseries, just really uh, increase the number of people that know about us. Super, thank you. So, well, look, if you are um, a parent with a child in a school or you, you know, in a nursery or perhaps you own a nursery or you've got any connections in schools, and if what, Ju um, if what Jenny and, and her team, at parent team, are, are talking about is resonating with you, then please, you know how to get in touch with her. And we will share this recording onto our IG Live channel um, and also onto other channels as well. So, you know, if anyone watching, you will be able to, to A, catch up on this and also to, um, you know, to, to share it with people later. What was really interesting, just want to pick up on, um, you know, something you were talking about just earlier, was, you know, the challenges that we've gone through this year, you know, both as business owners, as parents, and then homing in on that, you know, that rather sort of eye startling um, uh, statistic of two in five girls aged 16 to 17 who are really struggling. Maybe you can talk about some of the some of your own learnings, but also some of the worries and concerns that, you know, that parents are coming to you with you know, the, the, the sort of issues that have, have come to your attention in this last year. Yes. So, um... Well, it's interesting, isn't it? Because the uh, COVID, it, it, it's quite clear that a large proportion of children um, ha had quite a challenging time. I think they, they really missed school. And uh, mm. older teenagers, their job is to start separating from family. So it's all yeah. about their friends. It's all about independence. And that wasn't available. So that was really tough. And uh, funny enough, you know, the, the joys of digital, because we are happily chatting on Instagram live and, yep. and getting to a big audience, which is wonderful. But um, social media can be tricky for children, um, particularly girls. So hence the statistics, two out of five girls are, are, are really struggling with their mental health. So and of course, when you can't go out and meet your friends in, the, in, in a cafe or a park, 
you, you, you spent a lot more time on digital. Um, um, funnily enough, I don't think children are that worried about, particularly not the younger children, they're not worried about the academics. The parents are worried about the academics, but not so much the children. Um, and there's some children who really like, uh, liked having the lockdown. So children who were more introverted, children who, who um, have higher anxiety, children who perhaps don't get to spend that much time with their families because everyone's got a busy job. You know, some children and parents have absolutely thrived in lockdown. So it's definitely not a one size fits all. But I think um, when you get, what's quite clear with children is, uh, particularly younger children, you know, they don't really see the bigger picture. Yes. So will your late teens <clears throat> worrying about what's going to happen to my A-levels? Will I have, be able to get a job at the end of it? Your kind of pre-teens, they're, they're not focusing on that. But what they are doing is picking up the stress of their parents. So if mum and dad are having a really stressful time, then that soaks through to them. Um, and that's um, and then that's just stress soaks through to a child. So then you always see it in their behaviour because a child can't say, you know, I'm not feeling so good. I I think it's you know I, I'm worried about X and Y. What happens with the child is they just hit a sibling or they just won't <coughs> cooperate or they're just really rude to you as the parent. Um, and of course, if a parent's already stressed about external factors they have less resilience to know how to handle that behavior in a calm kind of empathetic way. So you get into this quite negative cycle. So um, I think our job now that, you know, life has normalized a bit is to really help people who feel like they've got onto a negative cycle back into a positive cycle. And, you know, there are some really straightforward not difficult skills that you get you back on this positive cycle. And, and that's what I love about our work. It's not rocket science. It's not difficult to put into to play, but it has a massive difference. And when you get into a positive cycle at home um, and you, you're using, you know, looking for the good in your child, you're being able to empathize when they're struggling emotionally, when you, when you plan forward a bit so life isn't too stressful, the lovely thing is it releases dopamine, the feel-good chemical, in your child's brain. But it releases dopamine in the parent's brain. So you both get a hit of the feel-good chemical. And, and, you know, that's what drives us in life, feeling good, feeling happy, feeling supported, feeling loved and nourished. And a few easy parenting tools can get that going pretty quickly. Gosh, I am writing down so much from that thank you I'm, I'm sure everyone else is doing that at home as well um, i could feel myself feeling happier as, as you were talking through the toolkit so sign me up i'm in and um but it, it's so true and, and it was interesting we um we chatted to arabella davis um from their best years um last week arabella runs an outstanding educational consultancy and again the the, the messaging coming from her was very similar and you know, it's, again, if you, can, if you can give people the toolkit and to take the stress away from parenting, from the decision-making, from the journey, the release of happiness, it allows you to enjoy that journey. Um, and as you say, the, the sort of the difference between the enjoyment and the stress is enormous, but the, the toolkit is so simple to get there if you can just access the toolkit. Yeah, that's right. And we, we teach a lot about the brain, so people can really understand chi a child's brain development but their brain, what's going on in the adult's brain that's causing them to behave in a certain way. And we do a lot of work on what's developmentally normal because so many times parents will come and say, you know, my seven-year-old is hitting. And, and I'll say, <laughs> yes, that, that's absolutely not, and not to be stereotypical, but quite often it's boys a little bit more physical, you know, and a girl might be able to use a word. And they, they say, my seven-year-old boy is hitting. And I say, oh yes, you know, that's, that's pretty, it's not abnormal at all. And they go, oh, phew. So, and when you explain what's developmentally normal, that actually lying can be a sign of, of, of advanced brain wiring and that, mm. um, you know, teenagers can't read facial expressions well. So 
50% of the time they think you're angry when you're not at all angry. You know, those yes, little yes. nuggets can really, you know, be so helpful for parents. Yeah, no, I, I, I com completely agree with you. So, so thank you for the work you're doing. Anyone that is listening into this, please do pop any questions into the comments box. You can see we've, um, we've got someone here with so much experience, but so much um, just the toolkit to help you. So if you've got a nagging problem, a, you know, a burning question, yes, do go and find out more about the parent team. Find the, the course or the workshop that, you know, that is talking to you. But do also pop something into the comments box now. This is a way to get that, you know, that, that quick answer to something that might just be really sort of troubling you or, or, or one of your children. So look, you know, as you talked about, there's a business model, um, you know, this is a business, and, but it, it's a business with so much purpose and I think sort of so much, um, you know, wider uh, benefit as well. So maybe you could talk about, you've talked about the challenges of, you know, what you and, and your, effectively your clients, your, your parents have gone through in the last year. Let's turn it on its head and, and hear, about the rewards and about the rewarding aspect, what you've enjoyed in launching your own business. Um, yeah, absolutely. So a lot, lot of hard work, but I'm my colleagues <laughs> I work with, I, I really like them. We're all absolutely passionate about what we do. And we get really excited when, you know, re new research came out like yesterday. We get excited yes. about the, the newest books from experts. So, you know, Robin Dunbar, uh, recently put out a big book on friendships and I, I'm a very interested in friendships. They're so important to all of us, but really our children, but our children don't have the full toolkit to manage friendships very well. So, um, you know, and that was a 500 page tome and I enjoyed every page of it. All, mm. It was all research based or what his research showed. Um, so we're very passionate. We're very like minded. We get on really well. And I, I think the difference being able to run your own business is we can really produce the products that we think resonate with with parents and we can really keep them up to date research wise um all the latest findings all the latest things that are happening so we really like that you know we're, we're working hard on our instagram presence because what we're trying to do with our instagram is give people kind of daily tips daily doses you know you yeah. learn something and then you can forget but if you go into our instagram that one couple of sentences, you go, oh yeah, I remember, that's what I need to try and do. Uh, look for the good, say something positive. Um, so, uh, and we're, we're trying to provide an all-round service. So if you come and do a program with us, we're offering graduate sessions. So exactly like you're saying, if something comes up and you think, oh, I can't quite remember how to do this, you can come in and, and, and uh, come to a graduate session very inexpensively and ask some questions. Um, so so that's been really rewarding and of course the, the reason that we all do it is when parents come to you and you, you work with them and they say you've changed our life you've changed our family and I had quite a lot of clients emailing me over lockdown saying we wouldn't be managing lockdown without you you are the reason okay. we're surviving you know because they know how to handle a child who's getting upset or anxious or bored and, you know, that's what we want to do. We just want to help as many people as possible enjoy family life. So um, we, we always kind of say, you know, when at the end of everything, think about what you're going to put on your tombstone. And yes. um, it may not be the bigger car, but it probably is the relationship with your, your family that will make a big, big difference. So that's what we, we get so much. That's the pleasure of running our own business is being able to, you know, choose our own pathway and, and really help people do that. Very well said. And I'm sure that will be resonating with a huge amount of, of, of people listening in. Um, so, I mean, you know, we work with a huge amount of, of people starting, growing, scaling their businesses. We've got our own conference next week, which is helping people to do that. Um, so look, you've just most recently gone through that, that journey of launching. What advice would you give to someone thinking about taking that step? You know, what would be your sort of single biggest tip? Um, be realistic. Be realistic that what we realize is there's so much we just didn't know. And um, so do things in little steps. It's just like parenting. Don't expect to get too much done too quickly. And um, whatever time you think it's going to take you to do, you 
probably double it. <laughs> uh, yes. But reach out, reach out to your friends, colleagues in previous businesses, because we found that people have been incredibly generous with their time, their ideas, introducing us to, to relevant people. And um, so that, 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 that's really helped us. So, and, and I think, you know, we are very realistic. We're all parents in our business. We all have to look at our own families and, and walk the walk, which means really thinking about our children and we have to give time for that. So we're realistic, you know, the speed with which you can grow and scale a business. Yeah, uh, really, really. Well, I, I think advice there just ran full of common sense. And I think, again, will be really resonating with people. So, you know, so thank you. And we will, we will look forward to seeing it evolve and grow. And it's already, I mean, it's already just really taking off. So, you know, I'd say come back in 12 months and tell us you know, about, the, about the exciting journey and where you've got to so far. And I think just sort of, just rewinding slightly to, um, you know, this has been a long and difficult year so much disruption to schooling to family life um you know but here we are it feels like it feels like the narrative has changed it feels like you know we're embarking on a new academic year um we're looking to the future our horizons are expanding yes i think we've all stopped saying a post-covid world we're now living with covid but um you know what advice can you share to, to parents um you know as we embark on a on a new a new journey a new year yes I think um, I think my sense is that um, everybody's quite quite busy at the moment as yes. they return to life and you know social commitments and actually being able to go abroad on holiday and all the children have gone back to having clubs. Um, I think don't worry too much about the academics as much as the possible. Um, you know, hopefully trust that your, your schools will have that covered. So children thrive in a calm environment. So even though life is unsure, you know, and there's still uncertainties, the more calm you can stay as a parent, um, the less your child has to be on edge. Um, so take care of yourself. It's a bit like that when they say on the plane, you know, when the oxygen mask drop, put it, put it on yourself first before your child. So, so, as we come out of COVID, lots of parents are, are tired. I, I can tell you, I'm so sick of cooking. <laughs> I'm so excited <laughs> that I can go to the restaurants. Um, but, you know, look after yourself after that period. You know, do some things for yourself that make you feel good and make you feel a bit more rested. Um, children don't need, need, what they need is pretty straightforward. So spend quality time with your children. So if you're able to do that in COVID and you got into the habit of, family meals and going for walks at weekends and um, try and keep that up. Don't let the new, you know, the new world that's just restarted, don't give up on the family meals and the time together because that's what children really want. And this came up very clearly in this um, UK Child's Commissioner's report. So, um, and a few really easy tips. It's very easy to notice what children do wrong. Yeah, they're, they're, mm. I would say children are 24 years of mistake after mistake as their brains <laughs> evolve. Um, but when we can really focus on noticing what they do right, then that has yes. a big impact into getting onto that positive cycle. Um, and when they are struggling as they go back to school, and particularly as they're re-engaging with friendships, just take the time to listen. And again, as parents, I think when our children come to us with a problem, uh, we really want to fix it. Like, you know, my, my 16 year old called me the other day and she tried out for a, a, a drama play and she was very excited about it and she didn't get a good part. She did, definitely didn't get the part she wanted. She was very upset. And, you know, even me with all my years of parenting expertise, you know, my, my, my emotional brain wanted to say, well, this is what you should do to fix it. Go talk to the drama teacher, yeah. do this and that. Yeah. Actually, she just needed me to listen and say, that must have been so disappointing. I know how much you wanted that part. Of course you feel disappointed. And she just needed that listening. So um, if we can look for the best, if we can listen to them, and if we can spend some quality time with them, that will really help your relationship and help your child thrive. So, and, you know, realize that parenting has been harder over COVID time. 
and mm. and you might have set up some negative loops so come and come and get some help uh, um, I was laughing to myself Sarah we've just got a brand new puppy just to add to the four <laughs> children and um, so you know and and the first week we had him and he was biting and chewing and running around and we we're like we don't know what we're doing even though we would bought various books so I got a trainer in and she's a super nice lady very smiley very calm knew what she was doing really straightforward tips lots of rewarding and it really made a big difference and you know our 17 week old puppy now is adorable still biting and chewing a bit um but what i realized was um you know a few easy tips made all the difference and that's what we do for parents a few easy tips to make your life easier and that is a great analogy and i think anyone that's you know got a puppy in their house exact understands exactly what you're talking about you need to look out for that you know, find the right expertise get access to those tips and it's um you know and you have to work on it as you say but it's but actually it can make all the difference and to enter that positive cycle as opposed to you know staying you know being stuck in that rut in that negative one um so look just a couple more minutes um left with you what i want to do is um just ask you to chat about the workshop we've got coming up with you we've we're really excited to be partnering with parent team and um, on the 17th of November, we're going to be running a workshop with you. So, um, so Jenny, for everyone watching now and, you know, obviously when we share this a bit later, tell us what it's going to be about, what they can expect and, you know, who's it for and uh, how can they book? Okay, so it's going to be on uh, 17th of November, 10.30, uh, and it's going to be by Zoom. And we're going to do a workshop called Helping Children Thrive. It's our flagship workshop. And in that, we're going to cover four key areas. So we're going to start with the brain and brain development. Then we're going to um, look at this skill, descriptive praise, looking for the good. And what that does is really increase your child's self-esteem and their cooperation with you. Then we'll talk about a skill called emotion coaching. And that's how you listen actively and you help your child develop emotional regulation and that that can take a long time and lastly we'll we'll talk about rather than how as a parent you're reactive things you can do to prepare in advance so your children are better prepared for difficult new or you know challenging and new situations so so that's what we're going to cover in terms of who's it aimed at i can honestly say that our skills work uh kind of whether you've got a, a, a three-year-old to a 20-year-old. Um, I've, I've worked across the range. Um, you use the same skills at every age, uh, uh, with every age group. You just refine how you use them a little bit. So the words you use, how you phrase it, how much input you get from your child changes. But the underlying skill it, it is still the same. So, and um, and uh, there'll be a really detailed handout so the, when you listen to the, the, the workshop, hopefully really enjoy it. But, you know, like all these things, it's difficult to keep all the information in your mind. So we provide a really detailed handout. So, you know, when a couple of weeks later you say, what was Jenny saying about looking for the best? You can go back and, and reread it. Very good indeed. So anyone that's watching or knows someone they think would, uh, you know, really benefit from that workshop... Details will be going up on the Really Helpful Club website any day soon. We're obviously going to be sharing this on social, as will the parent team. And we hope to see as many of you as possible. And that, you know, if this is, again, your chance to come with your challenges, to soak it up and to, you know, to, to build that toolkit to make yours and, you know, your, your family life that much, um, that much happier and, and easier. So my last question for you is, you know, look, you've done a huge amount in, in this year. You've achieved a huge amount. You've, you know, you've already launched i think with a real flourish if you were coming back talking to us in say another 12 18 months time you know what's your vision for you know for what next um i think 12 to 18 months uh we will have done a lot more school and nursery work because the the joy of going into schools and nurseries whether it's in person or zoom is that um you you get to a lot of people in one go and yeah. also really helps join the uh it helps kind of the parent community 
so we'd, we'd definitely like to do that. Uh, and, and again, for, for corporates, um, we, we, that, that would be something we were aiming for. We will continue expanding our product range. Um, and we are definitely going to go back to some in-person teaching. So, for instance, I've got a, a client who said, please, can you come and do a hosted workshop um, for me? So I'm going to go to her house and she's going to get 10, 10 friends. And we're, we're doing preparing for teenage years. So she's got a kind of nine, Ooh. 10 year old. So I'm, I'm going to give them all the information they need to know what's coming up next. So um, and we will keep going with all our Zoom work because what we've loved about the Zoom is a lot more dads have been able to join in. Because, yes. you know, you don't need to get a babysitter, you don't need to travel somewhere. So we've loved that. And of course, you can get to clients all around the world. So we've got clients in US, U UAE, Switzerland, Chile, Germany. So we'll, we'll keep that going. Um, so yeah, so I think it's really the expanding into the schools and nurseries. And just um, the more people that know us, the more people who can mm -hmm. use word of mouth to tell people we're here. Um, you know, we're we're hoping to really expand our database over the next over the next year or so so please anybody out there um you know who enjoyed listening or thinks have an issue or thinks their friends have an issue um <laughs> please let, let them know about us and I, I just have to say um what i found from the puppy trainer is that a little bag with some bits of chicken in it does amazingly well for my puppy's behavior but children you can't i don't think they'd respond so well to a a bag of chicken bits so um you know learning a few <coughs> skills um you know such a positive empowering thing to do Could, couldn't agree with you more so exciting times ahead plenty of opportunity and plenty of opportunities for anyone watching to get involved and to a help spread the word but also to, to benefit from your services jenny uh, it's been a pleasure i have written down i'd say almost a book of um <laughs> of comments but i just want to sort of you know summarize with i think the the sort of essence the, the essence of your 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 message and what you do is you know children thrive you know, children thrive in a calm environment spend quality time with your children and remember a few easy parenting tips can leave your child feeling nourished, loved, supported, and happy, and help them to thrive. What more does any parent want? Jenny, thank you very much for your time, and thank you to everyone for joining us. As I say, we'll be, we'll be sharing this on our different channels. Please share it onward, um, and we look forward uh, to seeing you again, and look forward to seeing many of you at our, our workshop on the 17th of November. Jenny, thank you very much. It's a pleasure.